the world is an immense place. Distances and global connectivity is often difficult to comprehend. And global friendships tend to be forgotten. The ANT Globe serves as a sort of pedestal for your foreign friends and experiences abroad. By pinning your location on the globe and storing information within the pins, you can track your global network in a more visible and interactive sense. When you make a new global connection, you can simply add a pin to the board, create a connection to your Arduino, and track your global connectivity. Once a pin on the globe is touched, visual and audio feedback is given. The globe runs on the Arduino Uno, together with sketch, processing, and a DIY capacitive sensing board. The board turns the copper pin into a touch sensor. This works by sending a weak signal to one pin, while using another pin to measure how the object's voltage changes. When we touch the copper pin, the signal gets higher, and if the input number raises beyond our set threshold, touch is measured as positive. Note that the capacitive sensors are highly sensitive to human touch. Make sure your wiring is clean and there is no clutter, so that your signals do not get hijacked by other wires. Within the sketch code, you can change the threshold to change the sensitivity of your sensor, as well as monitor your incoming values and change the pins if need be. However, most of the interactivity is established in processing. The data from Arduino arrives in a string. We then run a piece of code to extract the string to individual numbered values named incoming values here, just for readability. Since we number the values here, we can assign a special sound byte or image to be linked with a specific pin. Basically, the matchmaking of the feedback with the pin is what we establish here. We still need to determine how the assigned feedback behaves. Here, in the if statement, we actually determine what happens when the touch is positive. To read if the incoming value is positive, we actually only need a single value. Not the entire string or the specific number of the pin, just a 1 or a 0. So we need to dismantle the array to the single positive or negative value in question. Therefore we filter our incoming information to only show the last incoming values. Now we can determine what happens when the value is positive or negative. If the incoming value is positive, the sound byte is activated and an image, or multiple images in our case, are put on display. Make sure to upload the Minim library if you want processing to play sound bytes and to save your images correctly in your project data folder. You can find the code for the ANT Globe on the project page, to which you may find a link in the video description. Future updates could be to implement a random in the image code, so that when a pin is pressed, a random memory from that location is recalled, as well as expanding the globe's functionality with turn or light sensors. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.